सो दीज आर एलोकाशिया लीव्स अरबी का पत्ता एलोकाशिया और अरबी एज अ ट्यूबर इज ऑल्सो कंज्यूम्ड एज अ रियली रियली डिलिशियस रेसिपी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट अ रेसिपी मेड आउट ऑफ द लीव्स ऑफ एलोकाशिया सो लेट्स हार्वेस्ट दीज लवली लीव्स एंड टुडे टू मेक अ लवली डिश कॉल्ड आलू वड़ी और पात्रा Patra is what it's called in Gujarati and alu vadi is how it's known in Maharashtra but there's a very different way in which every state makes it today i am not going to make a typical gujarati patra or a marathi alu vadi i am going to make it in our own satvik style so let's dive into the recipe and let me tell you alu kasha leaf is wonderful source of protein it is very good for your eyes it prevents cancer cells from growing into your body it also boosts your heart health and assists in weight loss so let's dive into this recipe so we have harvested some fresh alocasia leaves from the farm and once you harvest the leaves so these leaves are thoroughly washed and dried and now thick center vein we're going to remove this vein i have about 1 2 3 4 and 5 leaves and they're pretty big now what we know is that commonly we use besan or chane ka aata to make a paste that we cover these leaves with today i'm going to use a different kind of aata which i'm going to be making right now in front of you this is split green moong dal you can also use the yellow moong dal and we are going to be making the paste out of this dal so the stuffing inside the alu vadi is going to be absolutely healthy firstly we're going to take a grinding jar and add about a cup of moong dal into it three pods of garlic i'm adding a small piece of ginger also adding a small green chili now let's roughly grind this up It is more like a powder, or even the chili, the garlic, and the ginger is nicely ground. So now we're going to add some water to this so that it becomes a fine paste. Add some salt to this, and there we go. This has become a nice paste, and it's not runny, so it's perfectly blended. And now we can use it. We're going to put the steamer on the gas and start it so it starts boiling. Now let's take this paste and rub it on the leaf. We take the second leaf and we place it reverse. Zigzag, keep repeating and layering along with the paste. and once you are done with all the five leaves we will wrap now you begin folding this leaf so the first thing that we are going to do is fold in all the corners and now apply a little more paste here cut it from the center and make it into two rolls like that and now i'm going to place it inside the steamer and allow it to steam for about 10 to 15 minutes and it looks like the alu vadi is steamed nicely now let's remove and see what's happening yes it looks lovely so i'm just going to remove the alu vadi with the from the steamer and then put it on the platform it looks nice cooked although you are not able to see the yellow bit on the inside because the dal that we filled is also green in color so you can probably add a little bit of haldi to it or maybe even um, use the yellow moong dal for that matter if you want the alu vadi to look like alu vadi otherwise it tastes delicious with just the dal paste so there we go The alu vadi rolls are sliced and plated, and now we're going to be tempering it. Ideally, what people would do is deep fry it. The Gujarati patra is made by 
placing the tempering on top and not deep frying. So that's what I'm going to do to finish this dish. So let's see what goes into the tempering. So we have a mud pot on the heat and I'm going to add a little bit of either peanut oil or coconut oil as you wish, whatever flavor you like. Now to this, I am going to add some mustard seeds and allow them to splutter. Once the mustard seeds splutter, I'm going to switch the gas off. Now let's add in some fresh curry leaves, some sesame seeds and just a little pinch of salt. Mix all of this in. Now apart from the tempering on top, I'm going to add some more sesame seeds to this, some grated coconut and some finely chopped coriander.